Well, welcome back everyone. One local chemical plant is working to get students of all ages interested in STEM opportunities and they're doing this through a special project involving bees and beehives. WKRG News 5 meteorologist Lexi Birmingham took the trip out to the plant to see what the buzz was all about in this month's Growing the Gulf Coast. It's flying, it's flying all through the air and then it spots this flower. There's a spark igniting in these young minds. In the pollen jumps off of the flower and onto the bee. Troy Latham is a master beekeeper and resource teacher from the Environmental Studies Center. He's teaching these kids all about the importance of bees and pollination. We just want kids to understand that there's a lot going on uh, in the world. Troy hopes to inspire kids to care for nature. We have to have pollinators that we have to take care of of everything uh, that's around us. And what better way to get the kids involved than to get a hands-on experience? Letting them help us build and construct the beehives that we're going to put into place over here on a, on a section of land that we partnered with a farm, local farm. Ivana Chemical Company in Mobile County is partnering with Hollinger's Island Elementary School in order to introduce STEM programs to the students. To give back to the school and promote growth in those opportunities for the school children. Over 40 hives are being built just in time for the spring season. The bees will be brought in and will be maintained by a beekeeper on the site. Well, soon these hives will be home to thousands of bees, but before the bees can move in, they have to be decorated. Students got straight to work to add the final touches. <laughs> using brushes, paint, stencils, and stamps to decorate the hives. Some chose to stick with a bee theme, while others branched out into other creative ideas. Even I couldn't resist painting one myself. Great fun and a great lesson for the kids as they help with growing the Gulf Coast. We love bees! Lexi Birmingham, WKRG News 5.